Good morning, America, and good evening, uh, Indonesia. Good, good afternoon in Europe and uh, some parts in Europe, uh, that's including Russia. Uh, this time, we're going to bring our special guest, uh, Abu Said. And uh, good morning, uh, Brother Said. And we have a translator here, uh, John Isaac. Abu Said will bring the topic about uh, idolatry in Arabic, and we, uh, Brother Isaac will translate it in English. I'm sorry we don't have uh, capabilities right now to translate from Arabic to Indonesia, but uh, we're going to sub-translate it uh, after this uh, project is done after this program is done so let's bow our head to pray father in the name of jesus we bring this topic to you father and we ask you lord to enlarge uh, our territory and father in the name of jesus we ask you to uh, bless this program and bless a uh, brother and sister here involved in this program. In the name of Jesus, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that the Muslims' eyes will be open and their heart also will be open and accept the truth that only Jesus is the savior of the world. And there is no other than Jesus. And Lord, let this expose uh, to to. Uh, to expose the darkness, expose the idolatry. In the name of Jesus, we give it back to you. Amen. Uh, Brother Said, welcome to Indonesia. I'm big for Indonesia. Uh, welcome. Shalom, Hadilikum, and the Sharaf Nakun Festo of the Kumun Arda, Shalom Nakul Lahuan Namishin, Indonesia. He is happy being with you today, and uh, he's sending his uh, uh, greetings to all Christians in, in, the, in the museum. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you come into Indonesian platform to expose uh, who's the idolatry over here. هو مبشكروك إنك أنت عندك الوقت إنك تكون موجود في البلاتفورم ده عشان أو الستريم يارد عشان توضح الإسلام وإزاي إنه وسد. شكرا لك شرفت وإن شاء الله أن يكون لنا حلقات قادمة يعني في مواضيع ثانية بنعمة ربنا. He thanks you so much and he is uh, is willing to do more and more uh, like uh, in stream yard for these topics and other topics in Islam. Hallelujah and the time is yours. Thank you brothers. Okay. الوقت بتاعك في الوقت اللي في اي وقت تحب تتكلم. طيب أه، تحب نبدا دلوقتي؟ اه تمام بس انا هطلب منك لما تيجي تتكلم هتقول يعني جمله او جملتين عشان اعرف الحق اترجمها وهكذا فاهم قصدي؟ جو اهيد. طيب الصوره عندي واضحه كده بس ولا واقفه عشان ظاهر عندي انها لا لا زي الفل. تمام. طيب شكرا لك يا اخ جون ربنا يبارك حياتك ونشكرك على تعبك مقدما يعني لا لو بس مجهول. تقدم نفسك انا بس ليا طلب تقدم نفسك تحكي يعني انت كنت كذا وكذا 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 هيفرق قوي مع الناس خلاص يعني في عجاله بس عشان ما من نشتتش الموضوع انا اسمي سعيد ابو مصطفى من مصر مسلم سابق من خلفية إسلامية كنا على المذهب السني الشافعي وبعد تحولت إلى المذهب الشيعي وبعد رحلة طويلة من البحث والقراءة والمعرفة أنار الله طريقنا بالهداية لنور ربنا يسوع المسيح وكما يقول الكتاب المقدس تعرفون الحق والحق فده بصر شديد um, he is, uh, his name is uh, Saeed Abu Mustafa. He was in the beginning, uh, he was a Sunni Muslim and he left uh, Sunni Muslim uh, to Shia Islam. Then he met Jesus and came to Jesus and uh, based on uh, a lot of reading, a lot of study of Islam, Christianity, and he is back to the uh, right religion, Christianity.
تحب نبدا دلوقتي؟ يا يا ولا ابدا اه ابدا دلوقتي طيب بدايا لما نيجي نتكلم في موضوع مهم زي موضوع الوثنيه في الدين الاسلامي فيجب ان نتحدث قليلا عن البيئه بيئه الباديه العربيه اللي نشا فيها رسول الاسلام محمد وهم كانوا غالبيه العظمى منهم عبده اوثان ولديهم مقدساتهم وكل يعني قبيلة عربية ليها الأصنام بتاعتها اللي بتتعبدها ولما سئلوا يعني عن هذا الأمر في القرآن قالوا ما نعبدها إلا لتقربنا إلى الله زلفا يعني إحنا بس بنتقرب بها إلى ربنا هذه أول شيء Uh, if we'd like to speak about paganism and Islam, uh, we should know that uh, uh, before Muhammad, before Islam, uh, each tribe in, in, uh, in Arabia has their own idols, and they use these idols to become closer to God, as written in Quran. عندنا كمان نص قرآني بيقول بكل وضوح إن المشركون نجس. ولا يقربوا المسجد الحرام حتى بعد عميم هذا ولما نيجي نبص على كلمة النجس المسلمين حاولوا يجملوها قالوا بعضهم قال إن هي نجاسة حسية وبعضهم قال إن هي نجاسة معنوية يعني البيئة دي والناس اللي كانوا على العبادة دي وال... والمنظور ال... ال... الوثني ده القرآن وصفهم بالأنجاس ودول كان منهم أبوين رسول الإسلام محمد And if you go to Quran in Surah Tawbah, Surah 9, uh, there is a verse saying uh, that the pagans are filthy. But Muslims try to like hide this bad word and saying that uh, this word is using for the spirituality, spirituality of uh, paganism or pagans. But it is not true because this word is very bad word. Uh, and uh, it, it shows that all pagans living in Mecca were filthy, uh, like uh, the father and mother of Muhammad himself. I want to على on a point or a simple point, a simple point in the Islamic history, that the Kaaba that the Muslims are living in the Kaaba, this was a place for the worship of the Islam, and it was more than 300 years ago. يعبد. Also from history, it's a well-known uh, fact, well-known uh, fact, saying that Kaaba in uh, Mecca, it was a, a, an important center for um, idol worshiping many centuries before Muhammad. خلينا نبدأ ببعض الروايات الإسلامية اللي بتتكلم على تبني محمد فكرة الوثنية الإسلامية وأن الكذبة اللي بيتغنى بها المسلمين دايما كذبة أن الإسلام دين توحيدي ويقوم على وحدانية الله الكلام ده غير دقيق بالمرة ولو تحب الترجم دي في الأول تمام قبل ما نخش على الرواية سعيد والبجن showing us some stories from Islam or Islamic stories Um, uh, telling that uh, or, show, or showing that Tawheed in Islam is not true. It is uh, full of paganism, full of idol worshipping, and he will mention stories right away now. عندنا رواية بتؤكد الكلام ده وبتثبت إن الإسلام جي حتى يعني يبرهن على الشعائر الوثنية وإن المفروض زي بيقول المسلمين إن هو دين توحيد فالمفروض لا يتمسك ولا يتبنى أي شيء من الخلفية الوثنية اللي كانت عند العرب قبل الإسلام. Okay, first story is telling or showing that uh, or refuting the claims that Muslims say that Islam is going is showing توحيد. And believing in only one God and refusing all all uh, paganism before Islam, but this is not true, and we will see that right away now. عندنا رواية في في صحيح البخاري 
في كتاب الحج وباب وجوب الصفا والمروه وجعله من شعائر الله وعندنا في صحيح مسلم بسبب نزول نص القران اللي بيقول ان الصفا والمروه من شعائر الله فمن حج البيت واعتمر فلا جناح عليه ان يطوف به لما نرجع للنصوص دي نشوف ان دي كانت عاده وثنيه عند كفار قريش وبعد ما جه الاسلام هم كرهوا ان هم يتمسكوا بالعباده الوثنيه ومحمد قال لهم ما فيش مشكله ان انتوا تتمسكوا بما تبقى من العباده الوثنيه وهي الطواف بين الصفا والمروه نص الروايه كده نقراه في <تصفيق> في سبب نزول نص القرآن إن الصفا والمروة من شعائر الله ونفس الرواية موجودة في السيرة الحلبية كتاب حجة الوداع وصحيح البخاري كتاب الحج باب وجوب الصفا والمروة وجعله من شعائر الله نص الرواية بتقول إن المهاجرين أصحاب محمد يعني عفوا المهاجرين قبل الإسلام في الجاهلية كانوا في الجاهلية يهلون بصنمين على شط البحر يقال لهما إساف ونائلة إساف ونائلة دول كانوا اتنين بيزنوا جوه الكعبة وسخطهم إله الإسلام حجرين ده بدعيا يعني عن إساف ونائلة لو تحب ترجم الجزئية ده عشان ما يكونش الكلام كتير أو تنسى حاجة تمام تمام uh, The first story um, it comes from صحيح بخاري uh, a book called a book called uh, uh, وجوب الصفا والمروة or Um, the importance of Safa and Marwa, and also mentioned in Sahih Muslim, and the reason for revelation of a verse in Quran begins with uh, Safa and Marwa is are part from um, steps of Hajj, uh, and this story begins that uh, it, it 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 happens in in, uh, in before Islam that people were coming were coming to Kaaba. And uh, we're rotating around Kaaba, and there were two big uh, idols in Kaaba. One of them, one of them called Isaf, and the other Naila. There are two big uh, idols in Kaaba, and and before Islam, people were rotating around Kaaba, and there, uh, <coughs> these two idols were there. And this is also uh, mentioned Sirat Asir al Halabiya. It's one of the uh, biography of uh, Muhammad uh, that um, Muhammad accepted uh, people can do the same steps in Hajj as was before, as was before Islam, uh, like idol worshiping and Hajj to Kaaba from all Arabia to Kaaba in Mecca. And uh, Said now will continue the story what happening before Islam and how Muhammad um, confirms that we, he, he will do the same after Islam. واحد. عندنا في نفس الرواية إن العرب في الجاهلية زي ما قلنا كانوا يهلون بصنمين على شط البحر صنم يقال له إساف وصنم يقال له نائلة اللي حضرتك اتفضلت بيها بعد كده بيقول ثم أسيد ومسألوا على الرقم الحديث لو تدرت له رقم الحديث بالضبط صحيح بخير رقم أو تمام الحديث في صحيح البخاري في كتاب الحج باب وجوب الصفا والمروه وجعله من شعائر الله. وطبعا الرقم بيختلف من طبعه لطبعه ومن ترجمه لترجمه فلما اذكر الباب و ما ما يعني ما جاء فيه ده بيكون افضل للمستمع لان بيختلف الرقم من طبعه لطبعه بس. خصوصا الترجمات الانجليزي لصحيح البخاري وكده. هو <تصفيق> موجود في صحيح البخاري كتاب الحج باب وجوب الصفا والمروه وجعله من شعائر الله وموجود في السيره الحلبيه في حجه الوداع في باب حجه الوداع وفي صحيح مسلم في سبب نزول نص القران اللي بيقول ان الصفا والمروه من شعائر الله اوكي ذا 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 از ا كويشن فروم ذا اودينس اباوت ذا ذا نمبر اوف حديث But the but the number of hadith we have it in Arabic is different from English. Uh, <coughs> the translator may omit some hadith numbers, may change the um, like uh, 
the order of hadith, then we get different numbers. Then if you'd like to go, can go with Sahih al-Bukhari and book of hadith and go to bab or um, a chapter <coughs> of um, Wugub Safa al Marwa or using Safa al Marwa as part of Hajj. He found, he found this hadith. And also, you can find it in Sira al Halabiya, in the chapter of Hajjat al Wada' or the last, <coughs> uh, last, um, like, uh, last uh, meeting of Muhammad with his uh, companions. Uh, I have a I have a question. I have a question a little bit. Um, so I understand that uh, in the hadith between one hadith and the other, because I find out that uh, in Indonesia, for example, the hadith number are different from <coughs> the hadith number in Arabic. And how can we? Uh, how can we know that the the that the Arabic the hadith in Arabic is wrong or right or the the hadith in Indonesia is wrong or right? Because when we mention, for example, uh, hadith Al Bukhari number one thousand four hundred eleven say this, but then in Indonesia uh, Al Bukhari hadith number one thousand four hundred uh, some some. It's totally different, and how can we, uh, how do I say, how how can we explain it to them? Um, he asked, "Is the number of the hadith changing from one to the other? As you said, the Arabic number is the English number, and the Indonesian number is the other number. If they want to get the hadith, what is the way to get it? So they can tell it to people in Indonesia." <تصفيق> في موقع بالنسبه طبعا لما لما نيجي نتكلم في الامور ده انت عارف ان الاسلام بلسان عربي مبين وجل العرب فتقدر توصل للحديث بمنتهى السهوله في موقع الدرر السنيه موقع الدرر السنيه موجود عليه الاحاديث وتقريبا كل الروايات الاسلاميه الصحيحه والضعيفه بارقامها وان لم تخني الذاكره في لغه انجليزيه بالاضافه لموقع التفسير موقع التفسير برضو موقع في 30 لغة وفي تقريبا كل كتب التفسير هتقدر ترجع لأي حديث وأي نص قرآني وأي تفسير انت عايزه بسهولة جدا um, He said that there is a, a well known website uh, we have it in, uh, in Arabic it's called Al-Durr I can't I can't put it in the chat we use this uh, website to check the validity if it's hadith is uh, weak or uh, sahih <coughs> And uh, all other hadiths, not only in the Sahih Sitta, not Sahih Bukhari, not Sahih Muslim, and it, uh, in, in almost all books of hadith, hadith. I'll put uh, the link in the chat. Okay. And, and the other thing, too, uh, would you mind to share the screen, uh, brother? So we all, we all have to have to have Uh oh, we lost we lost brother John. Sorry, we lost him. Hold on one second. We lost brother John. Uh, probably he got disconnected, or maybe he uh, he uh, have a bad connection. Okay, here here he is again. The thing that you're saying is that if you can share the screen, you can share the screen with the text. عشان خاطر هم هياخدوا سكرين شوت وبعد كده يوروا للناس انه موجود في الكتب حاجه زي كده. هو حاليا دلوقتي الحديث موجود قدامي. خلاص اعمل شير سكرين. اه اعمل شير سكرين. اعمل شير سكرين. انا داخل من داخل من تليفون مش داخل من الكمبيوتر. اه اوكي اوكي. معاكم من التليفون. اه معاكم من التليفون. طيب. <laughs> All in Arabic. There is nothing, no English. In there. <laughs> he is not using. He is not using laptop now. He can okay. share, but uh, he is using his uh, cell phone. If you'd like to to share something, you can give it uh, in the. If you want to share something, you can put it in the chat. 
copy paste. Can anybody, can uh, anybody give me uh, in the in the in the chat maybe the uh, the website that I can go to show it to uh, to the viewers because it's without the the share screen without the uh, hadith in in the front. Indonesian will Indonesian people or the Muslim will say, oh that's uh, wrong <coughs> or that's uh, fake or. Uh, that is the E for something like that. So we'd like to show it to them, to the viewers, that this is the hadith or the the shura uh, concerning the idolatry. يعني بيقولوا إن هم عشان يوروا للناس إنه الحديث ده موجود فعلًا. فعايزين يعملوا شيء السكرين لأي حديث من دول حتى لو بالعربي مش مشكلة. فلو معك حطوا في الشات دول كوبي أو حتى على الماسنجر. وانا ادي لي يعملوا هم شير <تصفيق> ممكن احنا نقول الكلام يعني احنا مش هن... مش هنكتب حديث من عندنا يعني فاحنا نقول الروايات وفي الاخر خالص ممكن تاخد انت شير من عندك وتفتح لهم موقع الدرر السنية او اسلام ويب وهم يجيبوا بقى كل الروايات اللي هم عايزينها uh, he says that uh, he will because he don't has uh, don't use a laptop laptop now. He will share the stories uh, as he as he's speaking now. At the end, uh, we will we will get it from site the uh, Dora Sunnia or Islam Info other uh, other sites to to give to the people of Indonesia. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, brother and sister down here. If uh, you have any question, uh, you can put it into the private chat and uh, I can bring you up. So maybe Al Hayat has a question. Um, presentasi udah selesai, Bu. Udah, uh, I think, I think, kayaknya udah. Karena dia nggak prepare uh, apa, share screen hari ini. Oh, Brother John, is the presentation already done, finished by Brother uh, Al-Said? Uh, he, he's still in the beginning of the story of uh, how Hajj before Islam is the same like after Islam. And okay, he's so beginning... Just start it. Yeah, let just him finish his presentation and then I, okay. I will ask... Uh, Perfect. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Carmen, Al-Said. I also prepared the, uh, the surah sunnah.com on the side of my channel. <coughs> My, uh, uh, screen so you can let me know uh, which which uh, number of uh, sunnah okay I'm sorry brother uh, okay let's go ahead again okay come back side how was on the hand the name in a home is a phone a la phone a la the mashallah the phone a la do can you it mean is a no go al kaaba for such a two son I mean دي دي اللي وقفت عندها هنا. فالعرب نص الروايه بيقول كده. في الجاهليه كانوا يهلون بصنمين بي 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 بيمشوا بصنمين يعني يقال لهما اساف ونائله ثم يجيئون فيطوفون بين الصفا والمروه ثم يحلقون فلما جاءهم الاسلام كرهوا ان يطوفوا بين الصفا والمروه. يعني هو كان من شعائر الجاهليه كان عندهم صنمين والصنمين دول كانوا بيطوفوا عليهم بين الصفا والمروه الصفا والمروه ده من شعائر الحج يعني فلما جت الشريعه الاسلاميه وجت الدين الاسلامي كرهوا ان هم يطوفوا بين الصفا والمروه لان ده من العباده الوثنيه اللي كانت موجوده عند العرب وبعد كده يقول كره ان يطوفوا بين الصفا والمروه ويرون ان ذلك من امر الجاهليه. فنزلت الايه بقى ده سبب النزول بقى فنزلت الايه ان الصفا والمروه من شعائر الله فمن حج البيت واعتمر فلا جناح عليه ان يطوف يعني هي كانت عاده من عادات الجاهليه والعرب لما دخلوا في الاسلام شافوا ان دي عباده وثنيه واحنا مش عايزين نعملها لو احنا مش عايزين نعملها. ف نزلت الآية إنها من شعائر الله يعني شعائر إله الإسلام اللي هو المفروض جاب يدعيهم للتوحيد إنه هو يعني يجيب شيء نقيد ومخالف تماماً للعبادة الوثنية 
بمنظور ان المسلمين موحدين يعني وما الى ذلك فلا قال لهم ان الصفا والمروه من شعائر الله فمن حج البيت واعتمر فلا جناح علينا الطواف مفيش مشكله لو انت حجيت عايز تطوف بين الصفا والمروه عادي خلاص مفيش مشكله لان دي من شعائر الله وهي الاصل بتاعها انها كانت عباده وثنيه Okay, then uh, Said now continuing um, is a story about what happening before Islam in Jahiliya. Uh, they were coming to Kaaba and rotating around Kaaba and going to Safa or Marwa, two places uh, or two small hills before, besides the Kaaba, with two idols, one whose name uh, Isaf and the other <coughs> was named Naila. And when Islam ca came, At days of Muhammad, at the beginning, they <coughs> refused. They say we, we will not do the same like uh, pagans before Islam. But Allah revealed to Muhammad uh, a verse in Quran uh, saying that Safa and Marwa is part of, are part of Hajj and you should do the same like before. Which uh, is completely um, uh, uh, showing that the Islam is uh, the same like uh, bag paganism, doing the same idol worshipping. Uh, rotating around a big uh, place for uh, idol worshiping like Kaaba and with the same steps as before in Hajj. Come aside. ندخل بقى على جانب ثاني من ال الوثنيه اللي كانت موجوده عند العرب قبل الاسلام وجي الاسلام بيها برضو ما غيرش منها حاجه وهي صوم يوم عاشوراء صيام يوم عاشوراء الرواية دي عن عائشة في صحيح البخاري عن عائشة قالت كان يوم عاشوراء تصومه قريش في الجاهلية يوم عاشوراء ده كانت بيصوموه العرب قبل الإسلام وكان رسول الله يصوم فلما قدم المدينة صاموا وأمر بصيامه فلما فرض رمضان ترك يوم عاشوراء فمن شاء صامه ومن شاء ترك ويوم عاشوراء طبعا لو جينا لاحاديث كثيره جدا بتتكلم على فضل صيام يوم عاشوراء و... واجر صيام يوم عاشوراء الاصل بتاعه ان هو كان صوم عند قريش في الجاهليه قبل الاسلام مصدر الروايه موجوده في صحيح البخاري كتاب الصوم باب صيام يوم عاشوراء وموجودة في سنن أبي داود كتاب الصوم باب صيام يوم عشراء وفي سنن ابن ماجة كتاب الصيام باب صيام يوم عشراء وفي صحيح مسلم في كتاب الصيام باب صيام يوم عشراء Another part is um, um, fasting uh, an important day for Islam called uh, the day of Ashura. <coughs> um, this fasting was before Islam, was uh, before Muhammad came with the, uh, the mission of Islam, and the uh, pagans were fasting this, uh, this day every year, in same day, uh, many centuries before Islam. And when Islam came, uh, Aisha said, the Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, said that uh, <coughs> when Islam came, Uh, they began uh, fasting Ramadan, the month of Ramadan, and they stopped uh, fasting Ashura because it uh, was from pagans. But Muhammad said, no, we, let us fast uh, Ashura, and there are like um, chapters in Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Ibn Majah, about the, uh, um, uh, how beautiful uh, uh, fasting uh, Ashura. I can give example now, I made this, the search itself. I can give example and put uh, I put it in the in the chat. You can share it, but in Arabic, it uh, it says that uh, 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 fasting day of Ashura is is very important. It's equal to uh, prayers of 60 years uh, of his life. It's very <laughs> important, and it was part of Bagan's uh, 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 fasting. I'll put in the share right away now. You can. Share it, or you can keep it if anyone asks it about that after. Here, here it is. But in Arabic, you can Google translate 
and get it in uh, get the number in Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, but it is well known fact in Islam. Come uh, inside. عندنا كمان شعيرة تانية من شعيرة الحج وهي يوم عرفة يوم عرفة ده اللي هو يوم الوقفة بتاع العيد الأضحى يوم العرفة يوم الوقفة ده عندنا المسلمين بيقفوا على جبل عرفة في السعودية ودي من شعائر الحج يعني عندنا رواية عن عائشة بتقول عن عائشة قالت كانت قريش ومن دان دينها يقفون بالمجدلفة وكانوا يسمون الحمص وكان سائر العرب يقفون بعرفة ده قبل الإسلام فلما جاء الإسلام أمر الله تعالى نبيه أن يأتي عرفات فيقف بها ثم يفيض منها فذلك قول الله تعالى ثم أفيض من حيث أفاض الناس الرواية دي موجودة في سنن أبي داود كتاب المناسك باب الوقوف بعرفة وموجودة في صحيح البخاري كتاب أحاديث الأنبياء باب ثم أفيضوا من حيث أفاض الناس يعني <تصفيق> عفوا أن شعيرة الـ الـ الوقوف على جبل عرفة دي شعيرة مقدسة من شعائر الحج دي كانت موجودة قبل الإسلام وكانت قريش ومن دان دينها من الوثنين عبدة الأصنام كانوا يقدسوا الشعيرة دي وكان سائر العرب يعني كل العرب في نص الرواية بيقفوا بيوم عرفة لما جاء الإسلام إله الإسلام أمر النبي أنه هو يعني, يعني يؤكد على الشريعة دي يقول في نص القرآن ثم أفيضوا من حيث أفاض الناس <تصفيق> ان انتوا تقدسوا الشريعة دي وتعملوها لحتى يومنا الحاضر اي واحد فيكم لو بيتفرج على الحج في في التلفزيون ويوم عرفة تحديدا تشوف التجمع للمسلمين من جميع انحاء العالم وهم بيقدسوا هذه الشعيرة اللي هي الجذور بتاعتها وثنية um, another uh, part was taken from Islam was taken for paganism it's what happening in the last day before uh, Eid al-Adha. It's called Day of Arafat. In Day of Arafat, we see all Muslims in the TV or uh, if someone go to Saudi Arabia to do <coughs> Hajj there, we see all Muslims uh, standing over um, a small mount called Arafat and doing prayer there and passing through a <coughs> place called Al-Muzdalifa. All these, um, all these uh, steps were taken from pagans. They were doing the same steps exactly before Islam. And when Islam came, or when Muhammad uh, came and he said that he was, uh, uh, he was revealed the Quran from Allah, um, he's doing the same thing. And I give the reference in chat, you can take it. There are many hadiths, many references saying that Muhammad is doing the same like before Islam. Uh, in the day of Arafat, last day before Eid Adha. Kamil Yasai. Sayyid, the Sot and Tamil mute. Miss Saman. Hello, I'm going to shoot water. I'm going to shoot water. عندنا كمان الحجر الأسود والركن اليماني يحطان الخطايا حطا الغريب إن عندنا رواية عن واحد من صحابة محمد اسمه عمر بن الخطاب عمر بن الخطاب يعترف ويقر إن ده حجر صنم ليس له أي قيمة لا يضر ولا ينفع ولكن هو بيقدسه ويقبله لأن الرسول كان بيقبله ولكن هو عارف و... 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 يعني في داخله أنه هو صنم وثن ليس أكثر من ذلك ولكن يفعل ما فعل الرسول بس وده اللي يسمى الاتباع الأعمى الرواية موجودة في صحيح مسلم نفس الرواية عن ابن عمر عبد الله بن عمر بن الخطاب يعني أن عمر بن الخطاب قبل الحجر وقال إني لا أقبلك وإني أعلم أنك حجر ولا تضر ولا تنفع 
ولولا اني رايت رسول الله ولولا اني رايت رسول الله قبلك ما قبلك الروايه دي موجوده في صحيح مسلم كتاب الحج باب استحباب تقبيل الحجر الاسود في الطواف حول الكعبه موجوده في سنن النسائي في كتاب مناسك الحج تقبيل باب تقبيل الحجر الاسود وموجوده في سنن ابن ماجه في كتاب المناسك باب استلام الحجر Um, um, another thing that um, is taken from paganism before Islam, um, and it's part of uh, Hajj, is, is about the Hajar al-Aswad, or the, the black stone. There are many hadiths confirming that Umar ibn al-Khattab was kissing uh, the Hajar al-Aswad in Hajj, or the black stone in Hajj, because Muhammad was doing that. And it was taken from Bagans. I'll mention one of them in Sahih Bukhari, uh, uh, number 1610. And I put it in the chat. And it says that, uh, uh, and the, uh, the, the, the Rawi or the person who <coughs> narrated this hadith is Umar ibn Khattab himself. And it's Sahih hadith. Umar ibn Khattab says that uh, in, he was kissing the black stone. And he said he's doing that because uh, Muhammad, the Prophet of Allah, is doing the same and he's kissing, but he, do he doesn't understand why he is kissing the black stone because it is useless to kiss a stone. This is what Omar ibn Khattab says. And the hadith is in the chat. You can have a look on it uh, in Arabic or translated as you like. يعني يعني كده باختصار شديد عندنا اهم شعائر الحج زي ما ذكرنا هي الجذور بتاعتها وثنيه وان الاسلام ما جاش بشيء جديد ولا جه بدعوه التوحيد والكلام اللي يرددوه المسلمين دائما بل هو جاء بقى على العباده الوثنيه وقدسها كمان آه وده اللي احنا شفناه في حتى في الروايه اللي كنا بنقراها من بدري ان هم كرهوا ان يطوفوا بين الصفا والمروه لان دي من شعائر الجاهليه ولا الاسلام اثنى عليها. فده يلخص لنا ان الاسلام ما جاش بشيء جديد. الجانب الثاني ان كل ما ذكرناه هو 20% من روايات ونصوص قرانيه كثيره جدا تثبت ان الاسلام من اوله الى اخره ومن بدايته وتأصيله هو مبني على عقيدة وثنية صرفة وتتلخص في في الفكر اللي كان منتشر عند العرب قبل الإسلام ما جاء محمد إلا قال إننا لازم نوحد الله أكبر إله القمر وإن أنتوا لا تتولوا الأصنام وتركزوا على إله القمر بالمناسبة ودي اذكرها اخيرا يعني ان كلمه الله عند العرب هو اله القمر وان العرب كما يقول او كما يروج البعض عن فكره الشرك ان هم كان كل واحد يعبد اله خاص به العرب كانوا يشركوها مع الله ولكن هم كانوا بيؤمنوا ان في اله اسمه الله اله القمر ده شيء غير مرئي وحتى اسم عبد الله تلاقيه كان منتشر كتير جدا في الجاهلية أبو رسول الإسلام اسمه عبد الله وفي حديث الغار لما كان رسول الإسلام مع أبو بكر أرشده على الطريق رجل كافر اسمه عبد الله زي ما موجود في كتب السير أوكي بريفلي لايك كان جيت أكون كروز من أول وقت سعيد سيد that um, there is no Tawheed in Islam. It is uh, what, did, what Muhammad did. It's, uh, it's like confirming what Bagan's doing before. He continued the same steps in Hajj, like going to Safa and Marwa, <coughs> like standing on the Mount of Arafat, uh, like um, fasting the day of Ashura. All these things were before Islam, and he continued and make it holy. And this is a big surprise if you are speaking about pagans that you are filthy and they are not good, they are doing bad things. <coughs> why do you keep their prayers? Why do you, why do you keep um, uh, their fasting? Why do you keep their hajj with the same steps as it was? 
And Said uh, confirmed that he, he just mentioned about 20% of um, hadith uh, con uh, saying that uh, Muhammad did the same before, uh, before Islam from paganism and idol worshipping. There, is, there are a, a lot and a lot, about five more, um, five times more hadith that he mentioned about uh, continuing in paganism after Muhammad began Islam. Also, the word Allah, it was the name of an idol. Word Allah, it was the name of the um, god of moon. And it, every, uh, every, um, every tribe has its, uh, its own idol. And uh, in Mecca, there was like 360 idols around Kaaba. It's mentioned in, in Sira. And uh, one of the idols was, 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 has, the name, has the name Allah. And uh, conf conf to confirm that, we have many people who are called Abdullah. Abdullah means in, in, in English, the slave of Allah. Uh, like um, Muhammad Fazl. Muhammad Fazl, <coughs> whose name was uh, Abdullah. Then the word Allah as God, it was before Islam. Muhammad didn't come with a new God. It's the, the, the name of the, this God was known as the God of, uh, uh, of Moon. Uh, we can see a lot of gods uh, like uh, his uncle and he, he, like Abd Manaf, Abd Al Uza. These are all idols in in, in God. Like Allah, the same. So, but he chose one of them, making him making making him as his own god. تمام. في نقطة نقطة ثانية لو عايز تقول لأنه هي بعد كده في أسئلة ما يطلعش أد. فلما تخلص لا ماشي. لا 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 أنا أنت بس لما قلت عبد الله خطر في بالي عبد الله بن شهاب الخولاني فممكن ان شاء الله نعمل حلقه نتكلم على روايات السيده عائشه بالاندونيسي دي لازم دي لازم هي جاست ريمبر دون عبد الله بيكوز ذير از وان اوف صحابه هو هاز ا ويل نون ستوري هوز نوم هيز نيم عبد الله بن شهاب الخولاني هي ويل كم هي هي هاز ا بيج ستوري ويز عائشه after this of Muhammad, but he will speak it later, maybe in another uh, <coughs> three yards. Um, if you have some questions, he is, uh, he is ready now to answer the questions. Questions from the audience. Okay. Um, okay, the, not this one. Hold on one second. Uh, anybody have a question? Because I have a question. Ask the question and I'll translate. No problem. Okay. Uh, my question is, you know, um, on the name of Allah, you say it's actually the God of the moon, right? And um, he also stated that um, whatever Muhammad do and Umar saw and he he follow and it's become um what you say it's become the 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 Part of the word of Allah <coughs> yeah. it's like the word of Allah has become the law so my question is uh how how do we know that Allah is the moon god not any other god how do we know that it's the moon god? هي بتسأل بتقول طبعا انت قلت ان ان الله ده اله القمر وعمر كان لما بيشوف محمد بيبوس الحجر الاسود كان بيقلده وبيعتبرها كلام من عند ربنا على طول اللي هو الله اللي هو اله القمر فهي عايزه نعرف نعرف من فين جت موضوع او ايه الدليل ان الله هو اله القمر لو عندك مثلا ريفرنس يبقى حلو قوي ومرجع يعني طيب كتاب ان الله اله القمر يعني موجود في اكثر من مرجع اسلامي يعني آه لو آه يعني نجيب المرجع اكاديمي دلوقتي حاليا ما فيش اي مشكله آه ولكن فكره الفكره اللي كنت بتكلم فيها اصل الفكره يعني هي ان ان العرب في الجاهليه 
ما كانوش بيعبدوا الاصنام بالمطلق يعني كل واحد كده بالمطلق بيعبد الاصنام لا هم بيشركوها باله القمر بتاعهم عندهم كل عندهم الهه منظوره كده من اوسان ومن حتات ولكن <تصفيق> الله اله القمر ده شيء غير مرئي حتى في القران يقول لك كده نعبدها الا لتقربنا الى الله زلفا فاحنا بنتقرب بها الى الله في كتاب مهم جدا جدا للشيخ محمد رشيد رضا والشيخ محمد رشيد رضا هو صاحب أكبر نهضة إسلامية بعد سقوط الدولة العثمانية على قيام ثورة كمال أتاتورك في تركيا وسقوط آخر خليفة عبد الحميد الثاني الشيخ محمد رشيد رضا وهو من أعلام طبعا مشايخ السنة كتب كتاب اسمه سيرة الرسول الأعظم في كتابه سيرة الرسول الأعظم ده في مقدمة الكتاب بيقول وكانت العرب في الجاهلية تفعل أشياء جاءت الشريعة الإسلامية بها وذكر منها أشياء كتيرة جدا لو هنقعد نسميها من هنا لأربع ساعات مش هنخلص يعني وذكر منها من ضمنهم مناسك الحج تفصيليا وإن كمان العرب كان عندهم النظافة بعد الجماع يعني بعد ما العملية الجنسية لازم عندهم يختسلوا وكان عندهم سلوك أخلاقي كويس يعني أفضل من اللي جيب الإسلام زي إن هما ما يجمعوش بين الأختين ما كانش عندهم إن الرجل يجمع بين أختين يتجوز اتنين يتجوز أختين أو ياخد واحدة وبعد كده ياخد أختها يعني الإسلام جيب الإسلام كان موجود في دي عمر عثمان بن عفان اتجوز بنتين من الرسول واحدة ماتت وواحدة بعد ما ماتت أخذ أخذ أختها رقية وبعد كده أم كلثوم أم كلثوم وبعد كده رقية <تصفيق> فالفكرة دي ما كانتش موجودة في الجالية كانوا بيعيبوا عليها ويقول لك من كان يجمع بين الأختين عند العرب يقال له الضيزر ففي الكتاب ده تفصيليا بيشرح التفاصيل دي كلها وبيذكر الأصول الـ 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 الوثنية في العبادات والشعائر اللي هي كانت موجودة مقدسة عند الجاهلية وجاء الإسلام إلا ليقدسها ويثني عليها ويزدها قداسة عما كانت عليه قداسة في الجاهلية Okay, he mentioned um, a book uh, made by Sheikh Muhammad Rashid Rida, and he, this uh, Sheikh has, he came after the collapse of uh, the Ottomanic <coughs> Empire, Empire, and uh, uh, he wrote in the Sirit Rasul Al Azam in the introduction that uh, Muhammad came with uh, with the same um, uh, like same laws. Before, uh, before Islam or, by, uh, or pagans before Islam in Hajj. And he mentioned a lot of things and he put it like part of Sharia, like uh, the steps of Hajj, like also um, um, show, uh, cleaning after sexual intercourse. It's mentioned in Hadith and it was before Islam, it's nothing new. And, and he mentioned Sheikh Muhammad Rashid Rida in his book, his book, he mentioned that the the uh, the behavior of uh, pre-Islam pre-Islamic uh, pagans were better in some cases, like in uh, pre-Islam that uh, th there is no way that you can marry two sisters. If I marry a, a wife and she died, I can't marry her sister. This is is considered in Jahiliya as bad thing. But Osman ibn Affan, for example. He married uh, Ruqayya, uh, the daughter of Muhammad, and when she died, he married Umm Kal. He married Umm Kal soon, and he was called uh, he he was called like a bad person because he is doing uh, <coughs> bad behavior according to 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 the pagans before Islam. The book name it's it's made it's made by Sheikh Muhammad Rashid Rada, and the book name is called Sira of the Highest uh, Level uh, Prophet. See a Sira or biography of Muhammad. It's called in Arabic Sira Ta Rasul Al Azam or the Sira of the Highest Prophet. And mentioned also that uh, um, uh, all pagans uh, they have their own idols and they are connecting the, these idols in, in, in Mecca with uh, with their like uh, winds, uh, the uh, idol or god of war. And they are connected also with uh, some of them connected to the idol of moon or uh, Allah. It was mentioned in the book. 
Um, do you have another question? Uh, maybe from Sofiatul Al Hayat. From anyone? So uh, I want to make it clear again that uh, uh, in the pagan practice, you a person or a man can marry two sisters. No, it's the opposite. You can sisters. No, you can't. You if, can if, I marry, can't. if I marry, if I marry, I can't. In before Islam, it is not. A, it is not good. It, if you do that, then you are a bad person. Like, oh, like okay. you so can't marry. It, you, like, but also you can't marry your daughter-in-law. But Muhammad married his daughter-in-law, and Osman and Affan married two sisters, two daughters of Muhammad. And this is so bad. in pagan in, in pagan practice, you cannot marry two sisters, but yes. in, in Islam you can marry yes. even daughter-in-law, and you can yeah. marry sisters. You can marry so two sisters. It, so it seems like the practice in Islam it's even worse than the pagans. Yeah. Am I yeah. And this is mentioned in the book of uh, uh, Sirat al-Rasul Azam that Sayyid Sayyid, Sheikh Muhammad al-Shidra, Sheikh Muhammad al-Shidra is a very well-known uh, Islamic scholar. And he is not an uh, old one, uh, <coughs> like, like 100 years, 100 years, and 150 years. Okay. Okay, uh, there is a question. Go ahead, uh, Sister. Al-Hayat. Okay. Yeah, uh, I would like to ask about the Kaaba. Uh, is that is that true according to Atabari? And uh, I have uh, the sources here in front of me that the Kaaba temple is of uh, the worship of the Jinn religion uh, uh, in the Arabian and also the star family religion. So do Arab worship uh, Jinn and... Uh, you know, uh, because they were like, it says like uh, Allah was the biggest star and his wife was the son. His daughter were Manat and Al Uza. Is that is that also like many Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula, and uh, the cube or the Kaaba is uh, just one of many uh, cube in the Arab and also become the place of worship of the Jinn Lord. Um, Jean Lord, there can 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 brother Abu Said uh, explain about this? Okay, he asked the Kaaba. The Kaaba, I mean, there, there, he asks, "Are there such a Kaaba in the Arab in the Arab Arabic before Islam?" This is the second question. The second question is, "Allah is known to have children? I mean, there are the Allat and the Uzza and the Mana. Are they all three sons, three daughters, three sons to Allah?" ولو عندك مصادر الكلام ده يا ريت تقول لنا بس ده سؤالي طيب اولا بالنسبه لموضوع الكعبه كان في اكثر من 20 كعبه في الجزيره العربيه وغيرها والمضحك في الامر ده وال يعني والغريب ان المسلمين اعتقدهم بناء على نص القران إن إبراهيم هو اللي بنى الكعبة دي الكعبة اللي موجودة حاليا في مكة إبراهيم هو اللي بناها وإسماعيل آه وفي الحقيقة ما فيش أي دليل تاريخي يثبت إن إبراهيم كان موجود في الجغرافيا دي لأن مكة لم يكن لها أي اكتشاف قبل القرن الرابع الميلادي الكلام ده آه ذكروا تفصيليا الباحث أستاذ التاريخ الدكتور رأفت عماري في كتابه القرآن والتاريخ وذكر كل الأدلة التاريخية التفصيلية على أن الإدعاء القرآني كاذب أن الكعبة دي تم بناءها من قبل إبراهيم وإسماعيل طيب كان في سؤال تاني اللي هو بتاع هل الله عايزك تكمل ده عشان ما تتغلق فيرس بوينت there were about 20 
20 Kaaba in Arabia before Muhammad. Not only one. But uh, it's, uh, it's funny that the Muslims believe that, uh, uh, that Kaaba, there was only one Kaaba built in Mecca, built by uh, uh, Abraham and Ishmael. Uh, but this is truly uh, wrong. Abraham never went to Kaaba, never go all this distance from Israel, Israel or Palestine till Mecca to build uh, a building and let his son live there. It's about a uh, thousand kilometers, more than thousand, thousand 400, 300 kilometers, long distance. It's, uh, there is no reason to do that. And um, there is no any single uh, historical evidence that uh, the Kaaba was built by Abraham. And there is no any single evidence that Mecca appeared in history till the fourth century AD, after Christ. And there is a book well known to all Arabs Called this book is called uh, Quran and Tarikh or uh, Quran and, and History. The book name in English Quran and History. And the author uh, is a professor in history called his name Rafat Ammari. Rafat Ammari uh, refuted all claims of Quran, refuted all claims of, uh, of, of Muslims that uh, Mecca is an old city and said that Mecca appeared in history about 150. <coughs> AD, then there is no reason to say that Kaaba was building in, in desert and people coming to it and there, there is no city there, which destroys Islam and destroys Quran. He will answer now the other question about uh, the three daughters of Allah uh, right away. Go ahead, Kamri Zayn. The question on the two and 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 العرب قالوا ما نعبدها الا لتقربنا الى الله زلفى. <تصفيق> مش عباده بشكل مطلق يعني. فاللاتا والعزة ومنات الثلاثة الاخرى والى اخره يعني وهبل و غيره وغيره دي كانت اصنام ومعبودات عند بعض القبائل العربية. في عندنا نص برضو بخصوص اللاتا والعزة ده يعني نص مضحك جدا. كما لأن رسول الله ما كانش عنده مشكلة إن أنت تحلف بيهم. يعني ما كانش عنده مشكلة إن أنت تحلف بال... بال... بالأصنام بس ارجع بعد كده أقول لا إله إلا الله. والرواية نصها في الرواية في سنن ابن ماجة برقم 2096 في كتاب الكفارات. باب النهي أن يحلف بغير الله. عن أبي هريرة أن رسول الله قال: من حلف فقال بيميني فقال في يميني باللات والعزة فليقل لا إله إلا الله يعني اللي يحلف ويقول بيمينه باللات والعزة فيش مشكلة بس يقول بعد كده لا إله إلا الله وده اللي كانوا بيقولوا العرب فهو ما جاش بحاجة جديدة يعني ده بالنسبة لموضوع اللات والعزة هي كانت أصنام ومعبودات عند العرب يتقربون بها إلى الله أوكي هي 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 سيد ذات اللات والعزة أمنا Uh, were idols before Islam, okay, and uh, uh, Muhammad had no problem uh, in Sahih Hadith that we can uh, like uh, uh, swear by uh, these uh, gods, swear by these idols, but at the end you say you should say and uh, there is no God except Allah. You can swear by these idols and at the end you should say that there is no God um, except Allah. طب انا معلش لسه السؤال هل هم ثلاث ثلاثه دوتر ثلاث بنات لله هل في دليل على حاجه زي كده؟ لا 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 هم اصنام اصنام اوثان اوكي بس there is no um, he, he has no uh, any any uh, evidence that they are three daughters for Allah he has no evidence for that any other question؟ هل في سؤال تاني؟ <تصفيق> في عندنا قصة الغرانيق برضه قصة الغرانيق دي موضوع طويل لو اتكلمنا فيه ويا طول شرحه جدا يعني ولكن ملخص <تصفيق> Yeah 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 I'm just uh, give me one second I'd like to give uh, 
the proof of the hadith that you can swear mm -hmm. by these three idols <coughs> and say there is no God except Allah. I have it here with the number. It is, um, I'll, I'll try it uh, here. Is, I, I'll put it and put it's number four. Number four. I'll put in the chat right away now. You can swear uh, by uh, that. I, yeah, number four. And I, I, I should just give me just a second. Use number four. Hadith number four in in the chat is uh, that mentioned by Said that you can say uh, swear by these idols and at the end there is no God except Allah then there is no problem, which is uh, truly uh, strange, it's fun, very fun. Hadith number four. How do I find? Is it like uh, Sahih Bukhari? It is not Sahih Bukhari. It is uh, it's a Sahih Hadith, okay? And it, uh, uh, and uh, the source is Sahih Al-Adab Al-Mufrad, page or number 826. Well, and it's Sahih Hadith. Because I'm not, I'm not really familiar with this. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's not, it, it, you, 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 uh, sonna.com is not a complete source of, uh, yeah. of Sahih. Yeah, that's, the only, you... that's the only thing that uh, we can understand in English because um, yeah, yeah, we don't have another source. But yeah. in Arabic, we have a lot, a lot of books. And here is a muhaddis or the person who says that Sahih Hadith is Sheikh Albani. It's, uh, it is not uh, someone, it's Sheikh Al-Albani, and Sheikh Al-Albani died like 30 years ago. It's not, uh, he is not the old one. Okay, we, we're going to give all of the source into the description after this uh, program finish. And um, there is a question from the public. Uh, it's, uh, it's from Mercurius. Why? The, why the other Kaaba destroyed and only one <coughs> left in Mecca? في سؤال تاني بيقول ليه الكعبة اللي إحنا قلنا فيها الشين كعبة في شبه جزء عربية ليه كلهم اتهدوا وتبقى واحدة بس أو حصل إمتى لو في عندنا معلومات تاريخية عن الكلام ده؟ That's the question in in uh, in Indonesia. I, I, I don't understand it. Indonesia. Yeah, that's why I'm translating. Uh, I'm tra yeah. and translating. That was the question from Mercurius: uh, Why there is only one Kaaba and the rest destroyed? هل عندك معلومات لي كعبات أدت هدمت كلها وفي واحد بس أو مين عمل كده؟ بالنسبة لل للكعبات كانت موجودة في شبه الجزيرة العربية وكانت موجودة في مملكة الأنباط عند العرب. لما كان ليهم ممالك قبل الإسلام وكانت عاصمة مملكة الأنباط البتراء اللي هي حاليا جوا في الأردن المملكة الأردنية كل الموضوع ده تفصيليا تفصيليا زي ما ذكرت هو موجود بشكل أكاديمي وموثق تاريخيا في كتاب الدكتور رأفت عماري ولكن الكعبة اللي كانت في مكة واللي هي حاليا يقدسها المسلمون <تصفيق> عفوا الكعبه اللي موجوده حاليا في مكه واللي قدسها المسلمون في اقوال يعني في كتب التاريخ انها تعرضت للهدم مره ومرتين او اكثر وان عيله محمد رسول الاسلام هم كانوا العيله الوثنيه يعني هم كانوا حراس الكعبه دي وحتى لما القصه الاسلاميه يعني في سوره الفيل إن لما جيل الملك الحبشي إبراهيم عايز يهد الكعبة وأطلق إله الإسلام عليهم عصافير وترع بابيل والموضوع طويل دان فدي اللي كانت مو يعني دي اللي كانت ما بين إيديهم ووجدوا عليها أباؤهم يعني دي دي اللي كانت في الإتاح عندهم أما الباقي لا يتبقى منه يعني لم يتبقى منه أي شيء وشرح ده برضو زي ما قلت الدكتور أحمد عمير يعني دي بالنسبة لموضوع الكعبة الحالية يعني اللي موجودة في السعودية إن دي كانت معقل الوثنية وكانوا الناس الأمناء عليها والحارسين عليها هم أهل محمد رسول الإسلام وخصوصا جده عبد المطلب 
Um, and as I said, that the same book that we spoke about, uh, <coughs> the book of Quran and history, when the author, uh, Dr. Rafat Ammari, says that um, uh, many Kaabas were there in, in Arabia, some of them were up in, in, in the Batayan Bataille, in uh, um, Empire. And uh, one of them one, one was w well known in Al Batra in Jordan, Jordan. And all of these were, were destroyed because of wars, attacks from here and there. And even the Kaaba of, uh, of Mecca, it, uh, it, it, it was well known um, that the um, tribe of Quraysh was saving uh, was, or taking care of uh, this Kaaba. And uh, um, in history, this Kaaba in Mecca was destroyed many times. And one of them was after the death of Muhammad and after Islam. Uh, and, uh, and also Quran mentioned in Surah Al-Fil, uh, Surah the Elephant, uh, the story of uh, the, uh, a king coming from Ethiopia trying to attack Kaaba and Allah sent like... Uh, birds to attack his uh, at, uh, his uh, his war and uh, he saved the Kaaba Allah saved the Kaaba at this day but there is no single historical evidence for all these stories about the Surah elephant and Quran uh, as mentioned by Dr. Rafat Ammar in his book then conclusion uh, they, there were like 20 Kaaba in, uh, in, uh, in Arabia some of them was up north in Jordan till Yemen and, 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 and south. Um, all of them were destroyed because, because of wars between Arab, Arab tribes uh, here and there. No one took care of these Ka Kaabas in different places except the Kaaba in Mecca because that uh, the Christ tribe uh, was, saving the, was saving this Kaaba till the uh, beginning of Islam. Um, any other question? Any other question? Uh, there is also a question from um, Rani Wibawa from the audience. Is it true the color of black stone because blood of women? في سؤال بيتسأل برضه الأودينس بيقول ال الحاجة الأسود اللون بتاعه ده جه من الدم بتاع الستات. من لا هو لو جيت دم بتاع الستات هيبقى احمر هو اسود اه اوكي <تصفيق> هو الحجر الاسود بناء على ما ورد في حديث صحيحه صوتي واضح كده؟ اه واضح واضح تمام <تصفيق> الحجر الاسود بناء على ما ورد في حديث صحيحه ان هو كان ابيض زي التلج كبياض التلج يعني وسودته خطايا الناس خطايا الناس سودته وهو كان معبود عند بعض القبائل العربية قبل الإسلام كان رمز وثني يتعبد به العرب قبل الإسلام بالنسبة لدم الحيض الرسول الإسلام كان بيشرب من مية مليانة دم الحيض بئر بضاعة وده موضوع تاني نجلو بعدين ما لاش علاقة بالحاجة اللي سود الحاجة اللي سود هو تسود من خطايا الناس بس هو كان أبيض زي تلك كما يقول الرسول تمام تمام Okay, no, it uh, it, it is uh, all the time black, uh, never uh, color change because of the blood of women. But uh, according to Sahih, to some Sahih Hadith, saying that uh, it was at the beginning was white, the, and the color changed from white to black based on uh, it absorbs the sins of people, people coming to whisper or kiss the uh, the black uh, black stone. And the black stone absorbs the same. This is according to the Islamic uh, hadith. Uh, but but for the blood of women, there is another story that uh, they were throwing uh, like um, uh, the blood of women of the, of the period or some clothes affected by the blood of women in, in a, a, a known well beside Mecca called uh, uh, the well of Bada, the name of the well Bada. And Muhammad uh, was drinking from this well, but this is another story. But I mean, uh, confirming that the, the black stone 
was not affected by the blood of women. There's another place they put the blood of women or uh, the clothes is affected by it. Uh, another question? Uh, uh, Swag, you can go ahead and ask him a question. Okay. Morning or afternoon or night. Yeah. So um, I've been wondering, is it okay for a Christian to ask a Muslim? Uh, call them, not, not ask them, call Muslim brethren or brother. Is that okay? هو بيسأل سؤال بيقول هل ممكن واحد مسيحي يقول لواحد مسلم أخ brother أخويا زي ما بقول لك كده أخويا سعيد هل ممكن تقول لي كلام ده لحد مسلم تقول له أخويا فلان؟ قصدك كلمة الأخوية من المسيحي للمسلم يعني؟ آه 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 بالظبط <تصفيق> لا الأخوية في الإطار الإنساني آه في الاطار الانساني اه في الاطار التعايش مع المجتمع في الوطن اه اخويا في الانسانيه اخويا في الوطن اه لكن في الايمان لا مش اخويا الهنا مش واحد الهنا مش اله واحد عباداتنا مش واحده لا يختلط النور بالظلمه القديس بولس بيقول الله لا يشكر في هيكل مصنوع بالايدي انت تؤمن ان الهك موجود في هيكل مصنوع بالايدي لا طبعا في اطار الاخوي في اطار الانسانيه وفي اطار المواطنه اه لكن في اطار الـ الـ الخطاب الـ او الفكر الايماني ان انت تقول في الاخر احنا بنعبد اله واحد والكلام ده لا طبعا. سعيد انسر ذات يس يو كان سي فور بيبل ان ذا سيم لايك سيم كونتري يور براذر اور براذر ان هيومانيتي Rather in, 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 uh, as, as a friend or a close friend to you, you can call him brother. But you can't say that uh, as a brother in faith. You, you can't tell him, you can't tell him uh, he is a brother in faith because the Bible is clear that uh, there is no company between light and darkness. You can't uh, make one company between you and Muslim. Uh, so, yeah. so here's my question then. Why didn't Jesus use that back in the day? Call them his enemies, brother or brethren. I think this one is a different topic. Can we stick with the topic of uh, <laughs> okay. because okay. it's a different topic? Uh, so I, uh, we're trying to focus on the topic so we can expose uh, this topic. And now I would like to go ahead with another question with the last month si tomorrow. Uh, the, the, the question is, is the Kaaba ritual in Mecca uh, that is done by the Muslim, is it a different from the previous ritual before Islam or is it just a continuation or uh, how to preserve the ritual from the pagans? طيب هو السؤال بيقول هل شعائر الحج دلوقتي الموجودة في مكة مختلفة عن ما قبل الإسلام ولا تكملة لما قبل الإسلام؟ طبعا عارفها جاوبة بس هم الظاهر عايزين يأكنفيرم الكلام ده يأكدوا الكلام ده. فالشعائر الدينية في الحج في مكة حاليا زيها زي اللي قبل الإسلام ولا في اختلاف؟ بس ده السؤال. في 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 اختلافات بسيطة في بعض المناسك يعني مثلا في الحج قبل الإسلام كانوا بيطوفوا حوالين الكعبه وكانوا يعني الشعائر دي شيء مقدس عندهم لكن كان عندهم الاصنام اللي احنا اتكلمنا عليهم اللي هم بيتقربوا الى الله بها زي هبل وغيره هدول كانوا موجودين بجوار الكعبه بالاضافه طبعا ان هم كانوا بيطوفون حول البيت هراء يعني بيطوفوا عريانين من غير هدوم في الاسلام الموضوع اتغير شويه بقى خلى يعني شال الاصنام خالص من عند الكعبه كسرها وبعد كده بقت في ستر يعني بدل ما انت تتعرى والناس ترى عوراتك وما الى ذلك يعني ولكن التأصيل اللي احنا بنتكلم فيه التأصيل في الشعائر اللي هو الصفا المروه منى عرفه من مكه للمدينه يعني التفاصيل دي لا دي كانت موجوده في الجاهليه الاسلام ما غيرش منها شيء 
um, he, his answer is there is little, very little uh, differences. Uh, like uh, the, uh, like uh, there, were, there were a lot, a lot of, a lot of uh, idols uh, besides Kaaba. Now there is no idols. Muhammad broke all of them and put them in the garbage, and uh, there is no idols now. And before Islam, they were like rotating around Kaaba uh, without clothes. But now they, they wear some little clothes just to hide uh, aura or uh, like uh, <coughs> the middle of uh, man and from up uh, from 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 the head to, to down for women. Uh, but the same steps are, are the same before Islam. It's continuation to after Islam. Just some little changes, uh, like the idols, like the way of closing. That's it. But the same steps, the same procedure is the same. Continuation. Okay, thank you, brother. Uh, is there any other okay, question? Okay, Brother John, uh -huh. brother. Yeah, brother, brother John Isaac, I, I always okay. curious, did, do Muslims today doing tawaf or doing around the Kaaba, uh, they don't wear underwear. Just curious. Okay. The Muslims who are doing tawaf are wearing kaba. They wear underwear or not wear underwear. Just just the one the abiy that they wear or there is also underwear. Allah, I can't imagine. But even even if they don't wear bra and underwear, brother, that's why they are sexual harassment in the kaba. I want to know. Do they, bra 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 and, do, they, do, do, do they wear bra and panties, brother? Panties, <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm sorry, brother. I'm coughing so hard. <laughs> no, he, 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 he has cold. Oh, I don't know if you have a cold. I don't know if you have a cold. But I know that they put a cold. على وسطهم بيحطوا فيه الفلوس عشان ما يتسرقوش عشان في حراميه كتير في الحج وكده. Um, he doesn't know exactly <تصفيق> but, uh, as, to, uh, as long as they were closing hiding the majority of their body for women I speak about women uh, there is no problem to wear bra or not and many of them they wear like a, a belt around their waist. To put the money in it because they are the uh, uh, there's a lot of there are a lot of thieves there can store the money if they put the money in like a, a pocket or something they can store it but uh, in, in putting the, they put it in the waste like uh, uh, <coughs> to, to save the money from the seed i think they bring the money in the pocket because they have to buy the pebbles to you know to throw up <coughs> to the satanic because they have to buy i think like i don't know how much yeah but they don't put in yeah. they put it like uh, in a in a belt they yes. put around uh, their waist you understand my oh. point yeah yeah well, uh, uh, sometimes I sometimes i do that when i in, in the airport i have to avoid uh, because i can't hold a lot of things at the same time it's easy to put in my waist but they put because we put in in mecca that because they uh, they are afraid from the thieves. <coughs> there, is, there is a lot of people can steal money this way. Well, we, we <laughs> Indonesian people, we put the money in our bra, brother. So nobody can steal that. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah, I don't know. Hatta lo, hatta lo hatta lo farandna numa bil bishu shi, aw bil bishush. Da mish hai ghair min shi, lian numa bi tadafa aw fil tawaf bi kunti tadafa aw fi nas bi tmoot wkeda. Already, kulo bi hak fi kulo yan. Yan kulo bi hak hak fi kulo. Yeah, he said that uh, whatever they wear, without bra or with bra, uh, uh, because of the um, a lot of people at the same time, they are uh, touching each, each other. They are trying to to get the uh, black stone. They can touch uh, this woman and that woman, and and you understand my, my what I say. Then it doesn't matter yes. if they wear bra or not. Yes, yes. I, 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 I see a lot of stories that sexual harassment in the Makkah where, where they were yeah. doing Hajj and also uh, Saudi Arabia is not a safe place for a woman yeah. to be alone. Yeah, true, true. And Egypt. I mean, 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 I
لا عندنا في الترتيب لو سمحت لو تيجي تتكلم في الترتيب في التحرش الجنسي عندنا افغانستان رقم واحد ورقم اثنين ام الدنيا حبيبتي يا مصر ورقم اثنين في التحرش مصر هي سيد ذات ذا بيجست كونتري فور سكشوال هاراسمنت ان ذا وورلد از افغانستان ثاني وان از ايجيبت يا اند ذيس از ترو وي هاف فيري هارد تو ليف ان ايجيبت اند وير وات يو وونت نو نو واي They harass you, even you are in hijab or even in naqab, they harass people. There is a, a question, but I don't know if this is connected or not. The question is from the audience, is uh, Muhammad, I mean, if, if, I mean, is Allah worship Muhammad? هي بتسال سؤال بتقول اذا كان مش مش عارفه اذا كان متعلق بالموضوع بتاعنا ولا لا بتقول هل الله بيعبد محمد؟ يعني لما نقول مثلا صلى الله عليه وسلم هل دي فيها شرك وعباده يعني لمحمد ولا لا؟ هو مش النص ده اللي فيه شرك في نصوص ثانيه بس في حته النص ده هو موجود في سوره الاحزاب 56 اللي لم تخن الذاكره سورة العذاب 56 بيقول ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما كثيرا. فهنا بيتكلم على الثناء والتعظيم والى اخره يعني ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي بيثنوا على محمد يعني في الملأ الاعلى. يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما كثيرا اقتداء بالله وملائكته. فانت تقتدي بالله ان هو بيثني محمد و بيعظم محمد هو والملائكه فانت تعمل زي ما ربنا بيعمل مش معناها عباده يعني او 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 صلاه بمعنى كلمه صلاه يعني بس هو معناها زي ما ذكرنا يعني ثناء وتعظيم وكده ولكن عندنا في نصوص ثانيه قرانيه في نصوص ثانيه قرانيه بتتكلم يعني على الشرك وعلى ان محمد رسول الاسلام يعني شريك مع الله في امور كتير عندنا نص في سوره الفتح تسعه في سوره الفتح تسعه بيقول كده لتؤمنوا بالله ورسوله وتعذروه وتوقروه وتسبحوه بكره واصيلا فيعني التسبيح وتوقير لله ولرسوله طبعا في نصوص ثانيه بس في الانجليزي عشان اقولها لهم سوره الفتح تسعه فهرد حالا. تمام. اوكي. Okay. Uh, Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad is worshipped by Allah and Allah worshipped Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad Uh, verse 56, the part of uh, uh, Allah, uh, that Allah and his the angels pray, uh, pray all upon Muhammad, Muslims consider it as like praising Muhammad, not prayers from Allah. But there are other verses in Quran showing that uh, there is shirk or considering Muhammad the same level as Allah in Quran. I, he, gave, uh, he mentioned uh, uh, a verse. In Surah 48, verse 9, I read it in English right away now. Surah 48, verse 9, showing that Muhammad and Allah are the same level. Yeah, I read it. Sahih, Sahih International. So that all of you may believe in Allah and His Messenger and support Him and revere Him and celebrate the Allah glory morning and and evening. Which means right. that uh, Allah and Muhammad same level. You can't separate. It's the same level. Yeah, it says like that, that you people might believe in Allah and His Messenger and honor Him and respect Him, the, the Prophet, Muhammad. and exalt Him, uh, morning and afternoon. Yeah, it's that, the same, make, it, make Him the same level as uh, as Allah, right? When you read it in Arabic, you feel it, but the translation in English is hiding a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm, t I'm telling, I can give you a lot of uh, errors in translation to English mm -hmm. to hide uh, uh, problems in Quran. This one is, is a translation is not clear like it in Arabic. I said, 
There is no, a no, question. No. He has another <coughs> something to, to, to say. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. <coughs> عندنا كمان نصوص بتتكلم على رسول الاسلام محمد وان هو في بعض الاحيان بيكون اهم من ربنا اهم من الله الاسلامي في سوره الانفال 24 يا ايها الذين امنوا استجيبوا لله وللرسول اذا دعاكم لما يحييكم واعلموا ان الله يحول بين المرء وقلب وانكم لا تخسرون استجيبوا لله وللرسول عندنا في تفسير البغوي الروايه عن ابي بن كعب بيقول ان النبي مر على ابي بن كعب وهو يصلي فدعاه ابي في فدعاه فعجل ابي في صلاه الرسول دعا ابي وهو بيصلي فابي استعجل يعني في الصلاه ثم جاء رسول الله فقال ثم جاء فقال رسول الله ما منعك ان تجيبني؟ قال له انت ما جيتش ليه؟ قال كنت في الصلاه قال اليس يقول الله عز وجل يا ايها الذين امنوا استجيبوا لله وللرسول اذا دعاكم لما يحييكم؟ قال لا جرم يا رسول الله لا تدعوني الا اجبتك وان كنت مصليا. يعني الرسول قال له انا عايزك وتعالى بسرعه خلص الصلاه بسرعه لما راح للرسول قال له الله بيقول استجيبوا لله ورسوله قال له انا اسف لو دعتني بعد كده هروح لك وان كنت مصليا هسيب الصلاه عشان اشوف سعادتك هذه تمام uh, there is another verse which is more powerful showing that uh, Muhammad is, is in higher level than Allah سوره 8 verse 24 سوره الانفال او سوره 8 verse 24 uh, yeah i read it in english and then i'll go to tafsir because tafsir explains it uh, uh, in a good way to understand. Uh, I'll go to Sahih International, for example. All you ha who have believed, respond to Allah and to the Messenger when he calls you to that which gives you life. And know that Allah intervenes between a human and his heart, and that to him you will be gathered. Uh, mm -hmm. this, this verse that uh, it says that uh, you should uh, uh, respond to Allah and His Messenger when He asks you to do something. If you go tafsir, tafsir al baghawi uh, it is not in Arabic, it's not in English. I can't give you a link, but in Arabic, I'll give you the link right away uh, in chat, but in Arabic. It says that uh, Ubay ibn Ka'ab, one of the Sahaba, was praying. And Muhammad came when he was praying and he uh, called him, uh, Ubay, come here, Ubay. But then Ubay continued his prayer till he finished. Then he came to Muhammad. Muhammad told him, why didn't you come from the beginning? D didn't you know this verse, Surah al anfal that was uh, reciting now, 8 uh, verse 24? Uh, then Ubay said to Muhammad, okay, next time I'll cut my prayers and go to you and continue my prayers later. Then Muhammad is more important than the prayer to Allah. Uh, I'll put the link right away now. Uh, just give me two seconds. Surah Al-Anfal. <coughs> but in Arabic, you can Google Google it and... Um, <laughs> yeah. Not all books are translated. Here we go. In the chat. Okay. Okay, let me bring it over here on the right side. Oh. Okay. But there is a, a question, another question uh, about the um, <clears throat> Hajj Tamatu. Tamatu. Right? And um, the question is like this uh, I have heard about from the other channels that it's mean uh, it's a mut ah or sex at the hajj are this paganist practice or what uh, this is about hajj tamat too the question is about mut'at al-hajj mut'at al-hajj 
هل دي يعني عباره عن ايه؟ لو في معلومات عنها طبعا هي مذكوره في حديث كذا حديث متعه الحج وايه حكايتها؟ هل هي برضه جزء من الكلام اللي كان موجود قبل الاسلام ولا لا؟ في حج التمتع او متعه الحج اللي هي كان ان انت تقدر تحج وتعتمر في ان واحد وقت واحد يعني حج وعمره اسمه حج التمتع فعمر بن الخطاب نهى عنه عمر بن الخطاب قال افصلوا حجكم عن عمره، خلي العمره لوحدها والحج لوحده. هذا موضوع مدة الحج. هل كان موجود قبل الاسلام؟ هل في كان في عمر مثلا قبل الاسلام؟ ايه؟ كان في عمره مثلا ومتعة الحج دي او التمتع في الحج ده كان موجود قبل الاسلام ولا ما فيش معلومات؟ لا 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 هو الـ 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 الحج كان موجود، الحج وال وتقديسه في الايام اللي موجوده في الشهور اللي جرى كان بقى موجود. بس العمره والحج والعمره والكلام ده كله التفاصيل لا جه مع الدين الصهيوني تمام ات از نوت لايك ريت متعه الحج او تمتع الحج ات هاز نوتنج ريليتد ويز التكست اوكي ات از لايك ادينج حج ان عمره توجذر بفور عمر الخطاب الديز اوف محمد ان ابو بكر تل عمر يبي المسلمز كان جو تو حج ان عمر ان سيم تايم دو ات توجذر بات عمر كانسل عمر بن الخطاب كانسل ات ليتر اند ات از حج واز ذير بفور اسلام عمر واز ادد ليتر افتر اسلام ذيس از كونسبت اوف تمتع الحج او متعه الحج او متعه الحج So is this like a pagan practice? Um, uh, there is no, um, uh, as as Said said, there is nothing. There is no Umrah in before Islam. It was Hajj. Yeah, Hajj is the same before Islam. It's like uh, after Islam, but they were doing Hajj and Umrah at the same time. Umar separated between them. That's it. بخصوص موضوع السؤال اللي قبل كده اللي هو بتاع صلاة إلى الإسلام على محمد في 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 نص قرآني بيتكلم إن محمد رسول الإسلام هيقعد مع الله على العرش يعني هيقعد جنب إلهه على العرش هيجلسوا معاه على العرش بتاعه سورة الإسراء 79 سورة الإسراء 79 بيقول ومن الليل فتهجد به نافلة لك عسى أن يبعثك ربك مقاما محمودا. المقام المحمود ده بيقولوه دايما المسلمين في الدعاء بعد الصلاة. وابعثه اللهم المقام المحمود الذي وعدته. المقام المحمود ده في تفسير الطبري مسألة 22568 عن مجاهد في قوله عسى أن يبعثك ربك مقاما محمودا قال يجلسه معه على عرشه. إسناده صحيح أخرجه الترمذي برقم 3137 في كتاب التفسير. There is another point, a point that Muhammad is the same level like Allah. He mentioned, he mentioned the Torah 17 verse 79 and Tafsir al-Tabal. Tafsir al-Tabal, is it Pray with it as additional worship of worship for you, and it's expected that your Lord will resurrect you to a praised station. If you would tafsir what is meant by praised station, it says that in tafsir the prophet of Muhammad in the, in the resurrection day and the last day will sit in the throne like the throne of Allah. Okay, almost there. <laughs> Yeah, okay. You're, you're okay. 
Ayrin tadi nak ke? Wa minal laili fatahajja fatahajj fatahajj bihi nafilatan laka asna an yabathaka rabbuka maqaman mahmudan maqaman mahmudan means a praised station a praised place okay. if you go to tafsir uh, um, uh, say that Muslims mm -hmm. every time when they pray they ask Allah they put Muhammad in a praised place the last day or resurrection day this place is the throne of Allah itself the Muhammad will sit on the, the throne of Allah. I'll give you the tafsir right away in Arabic. Just give me a few seconds. Yeah, here I put it in the chat here. This uh, tafsir, Tabari for this verse, saying that Muhammad, uh, we, we Muslims pray and make dua uh, that uh, Muhammad will be in, uh, in last day on the throne of Allah. Trying to open this up. So. Yeah, this is exactly right. It's in Arabic. <laughs> but if you go down, we can read it. Okay, this is in Arabic. Uh, uh, هذه اسمها جوست الشنن الترمذي رقم 3137 وفي كتاب التفسير باب ومن سورة بني إسرائيل وفي مسند الإمام أحمد وصححه الإمام أحمد في صحيح شنن الترمذي طب تاني كده رقم الكام الشنن الترمذي برقم 3137 3137 Okay, any other question? Um, I haven't found any question yet that is to, to, be, to be brought. Any other question, guys? Uh, Pastor Tony, do you have any question? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can I add something before the other question? Just uh, okay. Uh, yeah, go I ahead. Have, uh, I have, uh, yeah, okay. The same hadith or same tafsir as the Tirat Tabari. We have it here in Sunnah uh, Rasul. As Said said to me, in Jamia Tirmidhi, with the hadith numbers three one three seven. Hadith three one three seven. جمع التلميذ. بس هو مكتوب في الحديث انه الشفاعة بس مش مكتوب حاجة تانية ان هو بيعمل <تصفيق> لا نص الحديث نص الحديث مكتوب كده اهو في تفسير الطبري أه. مسألة أوكي. رقم تفسير الطبري مسألة رقم 22568 عن مجاهد في قوله عسى أن يبعثك ربك مقاما محمودا قال يجلسه معه على عرشه إسناده صحيح ذكره الترمذي برقم 3137 في كتاب التفسير وفي سوى من سورة بني إسرائيل وذكر أحمد في مسنده مجلد الثاني صفحة 441 و 444 و 528 من حديث أبي هريرة والحديث صححه الألباني في سنن ابي داود
Yeah, I find it here. I can, uh, I can translate it into English. I can read it in Arabic and yes. translate it into English. It is uh, in the tafsir also, tafsir summary that we, we said. وقال اخرون بل ذلك المقام هو الذي وعد الله نبيه ان يعصي اياه هو ان يقاعده معه على عرشه ذكر من قال ذلك حدثنا عباد بن يعقوب الاسدي قال عن مجاهد في قوله عسى ان يعصيك ربك مقام محمودا قال يجلس معه على عرشه it means that uh, uh, the, the last two words in the verse sura 17 verse 79 uh, praise place means uh, is that uh, if Allah gives like a promise for Muhammad that he will sit down on the uh, uh, um, uh, throne of Allah, and it was mentioned uh, uh, by many people, one of them called Mujahid. He said that uh, about the last two ver two words in the verse, in that he will uh, sit down on uh, the throne of Allah in the day of resurrection. Okay, brother, brother. Yeah, I, I have it here in Arabic. I can uh, <coughs> copy paste the, this part in Arabic. You can go Google Translate if you'd like. I'll do it right away. I'm going to save all of the uh, source that you gave, you gave us, and I'm going to bring it, bring it to the translator so yeah. they can translate it, uh, this conversation. Here I okay. put it. You can take this part. Yes. And Google Translate or anyone can translate. I have the source. You can check it. Uh, okay, I think I think Pastor Tony have a question. Assalamualaikum, Sodik. Anna Pastor Tony Muhammad Bastaman. Anna Fisogul in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, Sita Ta'ashar. But ma bafi kalam arabik swaya swaya ladies and gentlemen uh, shalom my question is a uh, little bit uh, background my ustad when i grow up in indonesia teach me about good thing about al quran teach me about good thing about uh, arabic uh, saudi arabic people and uh, First question is when I was working in Arab Saudi Arabia, uh, only only uh, Muslim people can go to Makkah and Madinah, uh, Makkah, right? Uh, what that is mean only uh, other religious cannot uh, touch to that ground. And second thing is uh, I was shocked when I was working there. My expectation are different when I live in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, I was shocked and yeah, I was really shocked because different what my Ustad did. Many, many torture <coughs> and so on through the through the Indonesian labor. The second question is, the second question is why is 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 it true the Islamic came to the uh, in Saudi in Arabic because of era Zahilia the second question I, thank you can, can you repeat the second question please because uh, I couldn't get the point yeah the second question many people told me Islam came in Saudi Arabia because Jaman Jahiliyah Jaman is what is it uh, what the time is? of uh, the pre-islamic Islamic, pre -Islamic time of Jahiliyah. Yeah. Jahiliyah that's why they came uh, come in Saudi Arabia because there is a forgive me uh, there is a a lot of uh, how we call it human prosecution there like it slave yeah. Yeah. and so yeah. on so True. that's my question okay هو بيسأل سؤالين بيقول طبعا هو موجود في السعودية حاليا طبعا ممنوع انك تخش اي واحد مسيحي او اي واحد من جنه اخرى يخش جوه مكه فده معناه ايه؟ ده ليه ليه بيعملوا كده؟ دي حاجه الحاجه الثانيه بيسال المسلمين دايما بيقولوا ان الاسلام جه في السعوديه عشان خاطر يصلح معاناه الجاهليه طيب الكلام ده صح؟ 
ايه العادات الجاهليه اللي صلحها الاسلام لو الكلام ده صح. ايوه <تصفيق> بالنسبه لغير غير المسلم بشكل عام مسيحي او يهودي او ايا كان يعني ان هو يروح الـ الـ مكه او خصوصا مكه بالذات يعني والاماكن المقدسه لا ده لا يجوز بنص القران ولا يقربوا المسجد الحرام ان المشركون نجوا ولا يقربوا المسجد الحرام هذا هو الجانب الجانب الثاني الاسلام ان زي ما بيقولوا الصلاعمه ان الاسلام جه يصلح اللي في الجاهليه وجه يعني يخرج الناس من الظلمات الى النور من عباده ال الاصنام الى عباده الله الواحد الواحد الاحد وكل الكلام ده الكلام ده مش ما فيش ما فيش دليل عليه قطعي واثبتنا الكلام ده ان محمد ما غيرش شيء من العباده الوثنيه اللي عندهم بل على العكس تماما بعض العرب لا نقول كل العرب بس بعض العرب كان عندهم سلوكيات واخلاق افضل من رسول الاسلام محمد وجي محمد افسد اخلاقهم بتعليم دينه يعني مثلا على سبيل المثال عندنا في في نص سورة النساء 24 آية المتعة فما استمتعتم به منهن فأتونا وجرهن فريضة نزلت في المتعة الرواية موجودة في تفسير البيضاوي الرواية عن أبي سعيد الخدري بيقول كده أصبنا سبايا يوم أوطاس ولهن أزواج الكفار فكرهنا أن نقع عليهم فسألنا النبي فنزلت الآية فاستحللناهن فما استمتعتم به منهن اي فما انت متعتم به من المنكحات فاتهن اجورهن فريضه فان المهر ما قبلت الاستمتاع. الناس كان عندها سلوك وخلق كويس ان هم يعني مش عايزين ينكحوا الستات دي عشان دي ستات متجوزه. لكن النص القراني حلها. يعني قال لهم لا يعني اباح لهم ده والمحصنات من النساء، المحصنه يعني المتزوجه. المحصنه يعني المتزوجه. إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم استثناء ما ملكت أيمانكم فما استمتعتم به منهن فاتونا وزورهن تتزوجها زواج مؤقت بأجر معلوم ده هو الجانب الجانب الثاني عندنا سلوكيات برضو <تصفيق> عفوا الدعاء كان بيقوله المسلمين وهو أن الجاهلية كانت تحتقر المرأة وجي الإسلام كرم المرأة وأن الجاهلية كانوا بيدفنوا البنات أحياء الكلام ده كذب ولم يعني مش ثابت بدليل قطعي وان كان موجود عند بعض العرب لان لو هم كانوا بيدفنوا البنات هيتجوزوا ايه؟ ده جانب، الجانب الثاني ان الست في الجاهليه كانت بتشتغل وكانت ناجحه وكانت يعني ليها وضع اجتماعي واشهرهم زوجة رسول الاسلام محمد خديجه. جه الاسلام قال ان الست ما تشتغلش، الست تقعد في البيت وقلنا قرنا في بيوت كنا ولا تبرج ده تبرج الجاهليه الاولى، الجاهليه كانوا بيطلعوا من البيت. لا انت اقعدي في البيت. رب الولاد ما تشتغليش تمام هطلع بس الايات الايات اللي انتهت جاست جيف مي سكندز اند اي برينج ذا فيرس Can can you translate the answer to the English? Yeah, I, I'll do the translation. I think I think I'll, I'm, we lost I'm John. Just, uh, no, 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 no. no I'm Jim just is uh, here. trying. Okay. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. You... I thought we lost you. Just I'm trying to get uh, the verse to to read it uh, in, uh, in English instead of Arabic. Just to give me a uh, few seconds. Okay. Yeah. Because it's, uh, he said there's some hadith also, I would like to get, bring all of them. Yeah, John sedang mencari hadithnya untuk the display. Yeah, while, while, while John uh, looking, searching for the hadith, also 
my big question is when you are adultery <coughs> they chop the head uh, the penalty when you stealing they chop the hand why in the another sharia people are dif- uh, sharia countries different like in uh, in emirat it doesn't do that in uh, in malaysia it doesn't do that in pakistan uh, different why why is, why is the law is different while you are waiting uh, you're searching maybe uh, go to that way Uh, yeah. uh, Pak Sertoni, uh, kita sedang fokus topik mengenai uh, idolatry. Oh, oke, okay, oke. Okay. Iya, yeah, jadi okay. kita akan Please fokuskan wait. ini dulu. Nanti mungkin okay. itu di uh, session uh, yang lainnya. Karena ini okay. banyak sekali mengenai uh, idolatry, mengenai apa berhala Lampang ya, berhala. penyembahan berhala. Okay. Ya, siapa sebenarnya penyembah berhala itu? Okay. He, he, uh, I'll translate what he said. He said he, 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 he mm-hmm. was uh, speaking about two questions. First question, uh, why uh, non-Muslims are not allowed to go to Mecca or Medina? He said that it's an, an order from Quran itself. And uh, he mentioned the um, uh, Surah Al-Tawbah, Surah uh, 9, verse 28. I read it in English. Surah 9, verse 28. You can get it out of... Uh, for people but it says um oh you who believed surely the pagans are uh, only an imp- an impurity it's not impurity it's uh, the right translation should be filthy he called the pagans like me like others because mm-hmm. we are all uh, mushrikeen according to islam we are all filthy according to quran so they should not come near the masjid al-haram okay and if you uh, if you if if you fear one then allah will eventually <coughs> enrich you for his of his grass then the surah 9 verse 28 says that uh, um, bagans are filthy <coughs> they are not allowed to come near to the masjid al-haram in mecca this is why it's not allowed for me or any other christian to go to mecca <coughs> the other question was okay, about there is a, there is okay. a question about the uh, hajar uh, let me close uh, can i can i continue because there's, there's another question about yeah. uh, what uh, what the islam yeah because the muslim yes brother that, go ahead yeah muslim says that uh, uh, islam came to make uh, life better correct a lot of um, problems in uh, uh, time but uh, said that is uh, not true and he mentioned oh. many examples first mm-hmm. example if you go to surah nisa uh, verse 24 surah 4 verse 24 <coughs> surah 4 verse 24 says and also prohibited uh, to you all married women it means you can do sexual intercourse with all married women except those your right hand process uh, this is the decree of allah upon you and lawful to you all other beyond these which means that you can uh, go a war and in the war you can take uh, a women slave and doing sexual intercourse even they are married and this is the lowest action is uh, must must uh, it's a very very low comparing with the uh, uh, pre-islamic uh, era or jahiliya time and he mentioned also hadith in sahih muslim uh, number um, 1456d i i'll put in chat right away and read it to you just give me a second mm. wow so that's yeah. mean that's mean you are may sleep with your slate Oh, is it? Am I correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I read it to you now, right now, and see what Muhammad says. Uh, there is a Sahih Hadith, um, Sahih Muslim, one four five six D. The Hadith speaks the authority <coughs> of um, Abu Sa'id Al Khudari. Says that they took captive women on the day of Autas. Autas is the name of uh, uh, war or attack or uh, days of Muhammad. Who had their husband. Then they take slaves, women, and they have their husband. 
they were afraid to have sexual intercourse with them when this birth was revealed. Then they, they came to Muhammad, asked him, no, we can't uh, do sexual intercourse with, uh, uh, intercourse with married women. They have their husbands, they are alive. Husbands are alive. But Allah revealed to Muhammad the verse that I, I mentioned before, and women already married except those whom you right hand possess. Then wow. you can do sexual intercourse with, with the married women if they are a slave from the world. Oh. And then another point, another point. Uh, Muslims say all the time that uh, uh, Arabs before Islam were killing uh, young children, uh, young girls, because they say that it is, it is not good to have girls. Uh, the, uh, but this is not true. Uh, history confirms that we have a lot of women in Arabia. Uh, they were like businesswomen. For example, Khadija bint Khwailid, the wife of Muhammad, was a businesswoman. Then if if she is, the, uh, if they are killing old women or young children, young girls, how Khadija grew up and became businesswoman. And Muhammad married her and he was taking care of her money. Also, Amna, Amina bint Wahb or mother of Muhammad, if Muslim, uh, of Arab, at uh, this time, we are killing all uh, young girls. How Amna grew up and became uh, became, became like the mother of Muhammad? No way. Then there is a lot of stories or, or made up uh, stories, made up fake stories for Muslims to say that uh, Islam came to correct a lot of uh, why uh, a lot of uh, bad behavior, while it's the opposite. Islam go down with with the behavior of human behavior. This is what I said. I think I think we lost uh, our brother here. He put wrong. He put wrong button. Wrong. No, uh, we lost him. We lost uh, brother Saeed. Because he tried to put something, maybe he, he, he put the exit. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that also. Yeah. Okay. Uh, while while we're waiting for um, brother Saeed to come back. And I have, there is a question from, from the audience, from Susanti. Uh, okay, he, he is again coming. We lost you, brother. Uh, <laughs> interruption for the internet. They had, uh, they had, they said that uh, you have an interruption internet. Yeah, we, we lost you. Uh, so there is a question from the audience named Susanti. Is Hajar Aswad came from the heaven? I think it's obvious, right? So, Miss Alu Hajar Aswad came from heaven, and came from the sky. Ah, نزل نزل من السماء أبيض كالتلج وسودته خطايا الناس. كان أبيض وبعد كده سود يعني من خطايا الناس. Yeah, according to Islamic uh, hadith or Islamic uh, basics, they say that it comes from heaven. I mean, it came from heaven and it was white. And they, uh, 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 when absorbed the sins of people, it became, became at the end uh, black. Because they believe that uh, uh, the black stone <coughs> will remove sins. Uh, it, it says that uh, part of the hadith, the black stone removes the sin. But is that really coming from heaven or it's uh, something made up? هو ما فيش دليل عليه يعني محمد طلع على السماء ركب على الحمار وطلع للسماء وبعد ما طلع ربط الحمار يعني يعني جت على حجر الاسود يعني اوكي ذير از نو ايفيدنس ات از ذات سينجز اور حديث لايك ذا سيم حديث محمد وينت تو هيفن اون اون ا دونكي اور براق نو وان سو هيم نو وان نوز اباوت وات هابن هي جاست ذي ذي سيم حديث اند ذات the same for uh, Hagar Eswad. There is no evidence of that. So there is no evidence that Hagar Eswad 
coming from heaven. But they yeah, believe yeah. the Hajar Aswad will remove your sin. Yeah, true. Okay. Another question, but, but do not, uh, from do, brother yeah, sister. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, I would like to um, say to brother John and brother say, do not underestimate the power of absorption into the black stone. It has the power to absorb, but not the seed, but your money and your pocket. ايه بتقول لك ما تقللش من قيمه الحجر الاسود ده مش بس بياخد الخطايا ده كمان انت بتطلع عشان تروح السعوديه تدفع قد كده في الفيزا وتروح الحج تدفع فلوس محترمه يعني فبتقول لك يعني ما هو ما هو المضحك في ايه؟ المضحك ان هو اتسرق 22 سنه ابو الطاهر القرمطي سرق الحجر الاسود 22 سنه وحطه في البحرين قعد في حوزته 22 سنه انا مش عارف مين ساعتها اللي كان بيحك الخطايا لما كان مسروق الحجر الاسود يعني منشن ذا فروم ذا اسلاميك هيستوري ستوري ذات ذا بلاك ستون واز واز لايك واز ستولن فور اباوت 20 ييرز باي ا جاي نيم ابو طاهر القرمطي هي واز ان بحرين ناو ان ذيس تايم هي ستول ات فور 20 ييرز And he was asking, Taid uh, asking, um, who, 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 uh, which stone, which other stone in Kaaba was uh, absorbing the sin all these 20 years? There, there was hedge for 20 years without the black stone. <laughs> who was absorbing the sins of this time? No one knows. That's amazing that eight little. Pebbles can make Saudi Arabia so rich. Yes. I always want to have a black stone yes. in Indonesia. This is true. Oh, be be be. They say that, of course, it's very strange. It's a little bit of a stone that has no value. It's a very strange thing. It's true. Okay. There is wow. another question. <coughs> yeah. Go ahead. Let's ask. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. The question is from El Kina Jokin. Uh, what relationship between the Hajar Aswad or a black stone uh, with Shiva in 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 the uh, Sayar Ul Okul Frikamaditya? I don't know if you know it's about the Hindus. I have no idea about the Hindus. Uh, me also, but I'll ask. هم بيسألوا في ناس بتقول انه الكعبة والبناء بتاعها القديم يعني شبه معبد شيفا في الهندوس هل في فكرة عندك عن حاجة زي كده؟ اه قديما قديما قبل ما يخترعوا لها الكسوة وقبل ما يجملوها ويعملوا لها سقف من فوق وقبل التعديل اه كانت فيها شبه ده ولكن زي ما قلت لما اتكلمنا من بدري كان قدامها صنمين يعني كان قدامها صنمين يتقربون بهم الى الله ولو ممكن تشغل لهم الفيديو الرون اللي هو بتاع نحن غرابة عك لو تشغل لهم الفيديو ده هشرح لهم موضوع تفصيلي طيب انا انا هجيبه من اليوتيوب هي سيد يس بيفور ماني سنشز بيفور الكعبة الشيب واز كومبليتلي ديفرنت اند واز لايك شيبا Uh, temple. Uh, now, but now they build like a uh, 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 roof for Kaaba and make like uh, um, columns to, to, to hold it and make a cover, black cover. And this cover really changed and cleaned every year. Uh, mm. But it was in the, uh, in the past, the same shape like a Shiva temple. And he asked me to, to, to give you a, a video uh, from YouTube mm -hmm. About um, yeah. the type of prayers I I I put in the chat, that type of prayers, because we have like um, some movies in Arabic, uh, speaking about speaking about uh, um, uh, time. I give you uh, mm -hmm. a, a, a part of the movie right away. Okay, so it is so it is there is a relation yeah, it, it's between. The same shape. Uh, the 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 um, Hajar Aswad or a black stone with this uh, Shiva, it's amazing. Yeah, 
Yeah. I did not know. This is the first time I knew about it. So uh, you say you're going to show me a video that we can display? Yeah, I'll give it to you right away. It's from um, uh, Egyptian movie, old Egyptian movie. You can see how they pray and how uh, they move the same way like we have it uh, now. And um, we have two idols in, for, in front. I put it right away now in that in the chat. Here we go. Okay, I'm waiting. So we're going to display this the movie. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me put it right here. And we're going to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So what I'm gonna do? Share. Problem is my uh, okay. Can you see that? So I like to make it uh, small like this. Let's play. So are these Hindus or are these uh, Muslims? Okay, what is so? Uh, Brother John? It doesn't work? Uh, it doesn't work? I think I have to move StreamYard to the second. Okay, let's, let's do it again. Since like doesn't work. You, you can share a movie. Just uh, open it. Open it in your uh, yeah, laptop or something, then share. Okay, can you see? Yeah, yeah, but uh, where is that voice? We need to hear it. Okay, hold on. Also. Oh, this is the same player? Oh, what? No, not the same player, but they say. Alhamdulillah, this is the same practice. Is that the same practice of throwing the stone? Yeah, it's the, the same prayer. Uh, it's the same prayer, almost same words. And they say we do. We are doing hajj. It's a it's a proof. Okay. And this is not a, <laughs> a, a Christian movie. It's a, a a Muslim movie. It's a a, a known Egyptian movie also. It's a known yeah. Egyptian movie speaking about Islam and uh, this. this uh, Okay, brother, it's been uh, two and a half, uh, two and a half hours uh, almost. So I think it's very good if we can come to the conclusion. Uh, if you can, uh, as uh, uh, brother Sa'i, to give the conclusion about what we have, what he has uh, shown to us. So we can we can do it again uh, in the next session, continuation, or maybe we can have a different topic. هما دلوقتي يا سعيد يعني عشان انا قلت لهم ان انا فعلا مضطر انزل لانه عندي ورايا ميعاد فقالوا هنعمل كونكلوجن او مختصر كده الكلام اللي انت قلته 
اختار كده في وقت صغير عشان لم كده الحلقه اللي انت قلتها ايه بالظبط يعني ملخص كده تمام يا سعيد آه طيب تمام تمام اه سامع كده صوتي واضح اه زي الفل <تصفيق> طيب شكرا لك هو باختصار شديد اللي احنا قلناه واثبتناه ان الاسلام ما جاش بشيء جديد الاسلام جه بال بنفس الشعائر والترتيب بتاع الطقوس للعبادات الوثنيه اللي كانت موجوده عند العرب قبل الاسلام فالاسلام لم ياتي بشيء جديد ده جانب الجانب الثاني ان الادعاء الاسلامي اللي بيقول ان الجاهليه دي كانت بيئه متخلفه والى اخره والاسلام جه يصحح المسار بتاعها ده برضو ادعاء كاذب لان زي ما اثبتنا ان العرب كان البعض منهم عنده اخلاق وعنده ضمير في بعض الاحيان وجي الاسلام كسر الاس الاخلاقيه دي وخلى من الـ 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 الناس اللي اتبعوا الدين ده اللصوص زنا بعيدين عن ربنا طبعا كل البعد اللي ده الحقيقي فالاسلام ما هو الا دين باطل لم يترك ادعاء قوي على صحته واخر حاجه اختم بيها يعني في عجاله هو حديث في صحيح البخاري عن الاقرع بن حابس ان هو قال لرسول الاسلام قال له ما اتبعك الا سراق الحجيج يعني ما فيش حد اتبعك من العرب غير الحراميه السراق السراق اللي هم الحراميه اللي كانوا بيسرقوا الحجاج يعني في الوقت ده وفي روايه ثانيه بتقول ما ما اتبعك الا اراذلنا يعني الناس السوقيين اولاد الشوارع هم اللي اتبعوه فده هو ده باختصار شديد يعني الاسلام وما بني عليه الاسلام والاصول الوثنيه للدين الاسلامي. Uh, okay. سعيد منشن 3 بوينتس. First point that uh, Islam didn't come with something new. It's just continuation for the same um, prayers, same way of Hajj, like before, before Islam and after Islam, the same. First thing, the first point, he said that uh, Islam didn't uh, uh, come to make uh, the behavior of people better, but it, uh, but it was worse. And he gave many examples, like um, uh, no marriage of uh, two sisters, Uh, before Islam, but after Islam, you can marry two sisters, like Asma and Affan. And you can't, uh, before Islam, marry your uh, daughter-in-law, but Muhammad uh, make it uh, legal. Um, and, and many other things that uh, Islam came, but he didn't uh, correct it, make it worse. And at the end, he mentioned, uh, he gave me a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari. Uh, I put in the chat and I read it right away. It says that um, many uh, uh, one of uh, one of people of uh, said Muhammad, the people who uh, follow you are the seals of Hajj. I put it and read it exactly. I put here first the Sahih Bukhari, and I read it right away to know what what it what say. Um, where is it? Here, um, um, narrated Abu Bakr at Sahih Bukhari 3516. Um, I think no, we lost him not, again. It is not not. Uh, Sayyid, I think we lost him. Aha, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> I, I bring wrong hadith, but it's a hadith. I let me check it again to try to get it. I didn't write the, the, the name of the guy. Let me do it. Just give me seconds. I'll give this point. Yes. Jadi tadi sedikit mengatakan kalau uh, Islam tidak membawa yang baru ya, tapi uh, ya, ya. Membawa, membawa dari pagan uh, hanya dirubah-rubah sedikit seperti misalnya uh, di, di dalam pagan itu tidak boleh menikahi dua saudara perempuan saudara, atau sister, ya. Tapi di dalam Islam itu diperbolehkan dan uh, menurut pagan orang-orang pagan ini adalah praktek yang sangat menjijikan.
uh, uh, I'll say the hadith. I'll say it's Sahih Bukhari 3516. It's Sahih Hadith for sure. Al uh, Akra bin Habis say to the Prophet of Muhammad, Nobody give you the pledge of elegance but the robbers of the pilgrim. Or I.e. means those um, who used to rob the pilgrims give uh, only the pledge of elegance to Muhammad. The people who believe in Muhammad it, uh, are just robbers and thieves. Hmm. People who believe in Muhammad just are robbers. Yeah, and the very three five Muhammad one. adalah perampok. Hmm. Jelas ya? Okay. Okay. I don't know if Said will make it again to, to, to join or not. I don't know. Uh, this is Said. <coughs> yeah, we have Said right here in front of us. Yeah. yeah go ahead, brother Said. Uh, I said, if Hagatania Said. بعد انا قلت الثلاث نقط اللي انت قلتهم بالضبط زي ما في الترجمة تمام يا اخ جون بس لو حد عنده استفسار او حابب يختم بشيء اتفضل يعني انا مش عارف بس هي از سينج اف يو لايك تو اني اذر كويشن اور يو ود لايك تو ستوب ذا ستريم ستريمينج ميك لايك ا كونكلوجن تو بيبل اوف انجليزي از از يو لايك اتس اب تو يو He has nothing to, to say more. I think it's. I think it, I think it's enough, Miss Lindsay. We. Yeah, I think it's enough. Here. Yeah, I think it's it's enough. Uh, we're going to continue. Maybe we can arrange for, for next session. Uh, this is two and a half hour already. I think there's uh, plenty uh, of knowledge that we have that we receive. Um, maybe we can close in prayer. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say Oh, yeah, I think we have, have it. We have it before, but yeah. it's in Arabic. I have Arabic. it on the it's description. In it's in the description. Yeah. Most of our uh, videos are translated into English, uh, in another channel called Light of Nations. <coughs> Light of Nations Two, because Light Should of Nations. Should we have it? Uh, what say? لا لا عفوا عفوا ناش. Uh, okay, then uh, you can find most of our um, uh, videos translated into English in Light of Nations. Light of Nations too. Okay. Light of Nations. I put the link. Yeah. If you have our uh, our video uh, YouTube uh, channel, it's okay. If you'd like it to, to be in English, you can find it in Light of Nations. Yeah, I think we have it on the on the description, but uh, it's not it's not bad if we can uh, display it too. Uh, so I, I guess we can close it in prayer. We can arrange for a next time session. Maybe the second session continuation with this topic, or maybe uh, brother uh, Said has another topic. Uh, we we're going to follow. Okay. All right. We're going to close in prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your grace, mercy, and loving kindness, Father. We pray that you enlarge the territory of this ministry, uh, brother Said. Brother John, and uh, from Al Hayat, and from any other apologetic. Father, we thank you for the safety of Brother Said and Brother John. In the name of Jesus, we cover this program with the blood of Jesus, and we pray that everyone who listen, who watch this program, will have understanding, and also have the eyes open and the heart open. Uh, what they have been followed is from the pagan father in the name of jesus uh, let us be in peace as we return to our activity in the name of jesus amen okay amen, amen. thank you brother thank you, so thank you sister you. we come back we come back so God bless you all bye God bless you. God bless you. okay we finish